Here we are on Kalkaroo Station and we're standing amongst a clump of uh, Acacia carniorum or purple wood wattle. The purple wood wattle is listed as an endangered species in South Australia, mainly because of its fairly restricted habitat in the northeast of the state here and also because uh, of its very slow regeneration rates. Now, the reason it's uh, called the purple wood wattle, uh, I'll show you. This is some of the old uh, dry, dry wood from a, a dead tree. But when you uh, trim it, you see that uh, inside you have this beautiful purple coloured uh, heartwood. Hence the name the purple wood wattle, very appropriately named for this tree. The purple wood wattle uh, tends to be a very slow growing species of acacia and some of these uh, trees with large butts, gnarled butts, can be hundreds of years old. And because we've had rains here recently, it's actually flowering, it rarely flowers, but it's actually flowering now. Uh, but the seed that it produces is rarely viable. So this species of acacia doesn't regenerate via seed propagation, but rather uh, from uh, suckering from the, the roots of the plant. So hence it tends to form these, these clumps of, of related plants. The uh, needles that it has are very sharp and pointed and uh, not very pleasant if you tangle with them. And that actually uh, produces a wonderful habitat for uh, little birds which like to, to nest in amongst all these, these prickly leaves and it offers some protection from predators. The purple wood wattle uh, tends to be very uh, fussy where it grows and specifically it grows on this uh, quite sandy soil. Not really sand dune, but coarse sandy soil, which is sitting uh, just above all these clay flats. And where you get this, that's where the clumps of the uh, purple wood wattle occur. The main way this acacia regenerates is by suckering from the roots rather than from seed. So what you find are these uh, clumps of trees all growing together. They're probably all from one original rootstock and other suckers have grown up forming this clump. The biggest threat to the regeneration of the wattle uh, are grazing animals which, which browse on the plants and uh, keep eating them back and uh, eventually kill the suckers. This is actually a sucker that's grown from, from a main tree nearby. Kalkar is destocked, so we've uh, removed the grazing threat from sheep but we still have a problem with, with rabbits. As you can see here, there's plenty of them in this area. Now David Lord on Thackeringa Station just over the border in New South Wales has done some very good work and he's shown that uh, the purple wood wattle uh, will regenerate 16 times more often where the rabbits have been removed versus uh, where they're still present. So we propose to uh, eliminate the rabbits from here completely and then to fence around uh, these odd clumps of purple wood wattle to keep the kangaroos out and in that way to uh, enable them to regenerate and to preserve these colonies forever.